Asag and welcome to Real Talk with Dr. Dean. I'm going to talk about being actually productive um, versus people that are laid back and quite passive. What is the difference? The majority of people in this world are not very driven. So they might be hardworking, they might be productive in something they do, but they're not driven. They don't have that drive. It only comes to, they say, about 2% of people are outstandingly driven. Uh, and the rest, they come in under different categories. But how do you become really, really driven to succeed? And I see this problem a lot with people that this, I want to do this. I want to achieve this. Now, you can go with the fluff uh, on the videos you see on YouTube. You can be amazing. You can be great. But you need a bit more than that. You need actual substance of what steps you need to take to become uh, and achieve that dream that you have. So whatever it was, whether it's a business or writing a book or achieving something for your family uh, whatever dream you've got, and I hope you've got a dream, um, how do you become productive in achieving that and driven to maybe wake up earlier, work the weekends, work the evenings for it, uh, or even give, give up your day job? How can you achieve that? So the first thing you need is a vision. Uh, you have to have in your mind, what does that success look like? Uh, if I become successful, if I achieve that thing, let's say you want to help the poor or the homeless. Uh, how do you become that person you envisage, envisage that uh, scenario so you think about what it would be like to have that homeless kitchen where people would be eating food or if it's a business what would it be like if I was free of my job and I was now running that business so that's the first thing you need a vision the second thing you need is hunger you have to be hungry for success if you have no hunger you're not going to get up early you're not going to work hard you're not going to be driven to achieve that goal so how do you get to be hungry to achieve your goals or whatever you want to do you have to have something that's pushing you in internally so whether it's a spiritual thing like i want to succeed and please allah so i want to succeed on the day of judgment so that's why i want to do good deeds and the good deeds are my actual passion uh whether it's something charitable or something that helps humanity it helps mankind so either it's spiritual and that thing is pushing you or it's something that's driving you that uh, you don't want to be in the current state that your life is in whether it's financially you want to earn more money uh, or you want to do something that uh, move abroad to another country something that you're hungry to do so much so that it's driving your hard work so uh, that hunger is really important without that you won't be driven enough to achieve this new change in your life. Um, after that, the, the, the third thing that you need is you need to be really, really resilient. So there's a lot of people, they do have a good idea, they start the good idea, and then they give up. They give up within a week, a month, or uh, the first hardship comes, they give up. So the only way to achieve success, if you want to achieve success, you have to go through really, really tough times. You'll keep failing, you'll keep going through difficulties, and that's going to build you up. It may not be that this project that you're planning succeeds, but the next one will. So you need to work on whatever's in front of you, whatever you've planned. And another thing uh, really important in these life changes is actually planning it. The plan, the ultimate plan is with Allah and it will change. Allah will do what's best for you, but you still have to plan. A lot of people start a project or a business and they don't even write down a plan or think how it's going to work and then it fails so planning is also key to making that success so uh, that's my next point in terms of planning to write down some milestones of what success looks like uh, some time scale now, it doesn't always go to plan it usually never does but at least for example if you want to start a charitable project and let's say you need to find a location so you set yourself time to look for that location uh, maybe you have a two-week deadline to find a location. Uh, if you need funding, maybe you need three months to apply for funding. So you need to set yourself time scales of achieving those things. Then you are on your way to actually achieving what you want to achieve. If it's a career change, then you need to look at what courses you need to do, how long they take, how much the course costs, and how much time you can give it over what period of time to get that certification or qualification to move up in your career so whatever it might be set a plan in place and inshallah you'll be successful i hope that's helpful just some simple tips on becoming uh, productive and 
let's start to see change. With a believer, a Muslim day is never the same. You need to be progressing as a Muslim to become a better human being, a better Muslim. So I'll see you on the next one, guys. Real Talk with Dr. Dean. Assalamu alaikum.